So, as promised, a positive video as well. Um, as y'all know, um, well, most of y'all know I am a transsexual. I'm male to female, and um, it's pretty much, I uh, don't look it up. I guess. <laughs> pretty much, though, I'm, I'm wanting to transition to a woman. Um, I've been that way. I'm intersexed, too, already, so. Um, but that's a whole big bag of follow wax. But anywho, a lot of y'all know that I used to be full time, live full time as a woman um, for a little bit, and unfortunately, because of the job situation, I had to detransition uh, to avoid being homeless. Ha ha! That failed, and to get a better chance with the job because as opening and as accepting as California is. It's still hard for a trans person that does not um, pass as a cisgendered female and probably cisgendered male um, for the FTMs. It's hard for us to get jobs, and especially the way the market was. It's getting better, so I have hope on that. But anywho, one of the bigger crushes for me was when I had to stop taking the hormones, and that was horrible for me because it. The hormones affect more in your body. The hormones affect your, your emotional state. And it's hard to explain, but the best way to say it is you react and, and, and feel more with your feelings. And I feel like on um, estrogen, and I feel more like me. So I was off hormones for like three months, or three years, Jesus. Um, it sucked. It was horrible. It was a living hell. And everything. Um, I must, I'm like everybody else that's trans. I call it testosterone poisoning. Um, but anywho, uh, California through a BART, B-A-R-R-T um, program, it's a medical program, uh, Los Angeles, uh, um, Los Angeles citizens can get free hormones, HRT, and uh, they have the same type of program up in San Francisco, too, by the way, for people wanting to know that, which means you don't pay as long as you know you're homeless, or not homeless, but jobless, or whatever, um, they'll give them to you, so I've been on um, estrogen, and since, I think, October or November, maybe, no, it was November, and um, so about six months, going to be seven, coming up. It's Friday, and yeah, it's been a blessing for me. Um, changes. Okay, well, my emotional state has been a lot more happier since I'm doing it under a medical uh, supervision and everything. Um, the levels have been consistent, and as opposed to when I was DA DIYing it or doing it yourself myself, um, my from my emotional level is a lot more. S steady. It's, I mean, the last time I was kind of an emotional wreck. It's like good to bad news. And Lord knows I would have not been able to cook well uh, taking hormones the way I used to. But, um, yeah. So, that happy feeling, um, everything, it has happened. And, um, let me see. My skin, you can't tell because of the light and everything. It's a lot softer and it's changed um, the tint. I'm kind of more whitish, uh, porcelainish. I don't know how to explain that, but you can definitely tell my skin has changed. My eyes, um, it seems to have changed shape a little, um, which is weird. I, I don't know if you can tell or whatever, but yeah. And um, I'm getting more fat up in here. You can tell when I smile, like my dimples get big. And, my chin, I used to have a little dent, and it's kind of growing in. It's, so that's been good. Um, I, I, I'd lost a little bit of breast size when I stopped taking hormones, and um, I've regained it and have gotten a little more. Um, chin, really, I'm not going to bother. Um, it, it's, it's small enough where I don't need to find them. <clears throat> But big enough where they look a little off my chest. I don't know, it's a little close to a B, close. And yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, hips have gotten wider, definitely gotten wider and everything. And um, gained weight though. 
which is weird because I'm eating a lot less, but um, I think I'm eating more on shit or something, which unfortunately when you have no money, um, you know, you don't get to pick what you get to eat, but um, yeah, I kind of gained some weight. <clears throat> I was kind of heavy before I started though, so. Ugh, that coffee's strong. Um, but yeah, um, unexpected changes was hair regrowth. I had lost some hair um, up in here, and you can't really tell, but it's smoothed up quite a bit, which is weird. It's totally weird, including in the sides. You can't, I mean, my, my hair used to go back a lot more on my hairline, and it's filling out, which is weird. You can't really tell hair because it's blonder hair, but trust me, there's a shitload of hair there <laughs> that wasn't there six months ago. So that is pretty awesome. Um, always worried about my hairline. Always did and everything. And um, so it's really neat to have that grow in. Um, I'm very happy with that. Um, I don't know when I'm going to go full time. First, I have to get off the street and have something steady and so I'm taking it slow. I am. Um, I'm very interested with just the way my breasts are kind of growing. Um, whether or not I have to bind soon, it's really, especially like uh, for a week or two after the shot. Uh, my girls, well, they're. You can. They make themselves known. So it's pretty awesome. And it's been a blessing and everything. <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to kind of show you all that. I, you know, I can't wait till I get my own place and everything. And I will start sleeping me and I'll start presenting this email in front of y'all because, you know, I don't want to do it out here because it hurts. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to chop it no, about that. Um, still going. And I, of all the bad things, at least finally got me hormones. But anyway. That's all. I'll see y'all Sunday on Chinese Star, hopefully. And um, I'll let y'all know what's going on in a week or two. Okay. Bye. Love you.